Hey guys, DJ Chris here. I uh, just picked up our Canon G9X camera that we're using for YouTube, uh, these videos, and we wanted to test it out and do a quick little video on a couple of things that we've added to our setup this year as far as helping us with our lighting and um, hopefully making things a little bit easier. Uh, the first thing is we picked up a few of these uh, donor wireless DMX. Um, we picked up actually five of the, the wireless ones and then it comes with one uh, wired transmitter that does need to be plugged in at all times um, for it to be used. These are rechargeable, take about two hours to get a full charge and then you can run for about eight hours on them. Um, they also have uh, multi different channels that you can use. Um, so the power button you'll have right here to turn it on. You probably see the green light here indicating that it is on. When it is receiving data you will see this flash. Um, you'll have your charge or um, you can keep it plugged in and charge during a show if you would like to or if you need to it will work while it is charging. Um, and then you will have your channel select button right in here and, and then you will indicate that off of the color of the light here. Um, and like I say, they are uh, rechargeable. The batteries are obviously built right inside. It does make it a little bit bigger than the original ones that they came out with that are wired that you need to plug in all the time. Um, so if you're going to use it for uh, uplighting around the room or anything like that, depending on which fixture you're using for that, um, you know, if it's on the bottom, you're probably going to run into an issue where uh, that's going to stick a lot further than the uh, than the lights can allow. Um, causing an issue with that, but it but it will definitely save you on cable runs. Um, you know, going wireless, you do not have to come up with an extra plug-in to keep this running. Uh, like I say, you can charge it if you need to and plug it in, but you don't have to find extra outlets to keep these running. Uh, so, like I say, we picked up about five of those just to have a couple on um, backup in case one does um, run out or whatever. We could just switch it out real quick versus having to try to find a plug-in. And the other thing we, that we have added to our show this year is going from a DMX controller. Uh, we were running a uh, Shave Obey 10 um, and we switched over to software of the American DJ My DMX 3.0, uh, which has made things a lot easier. Uh, we just kind of starting to get into um, DMXing uh, and the software has just made it that much more easier to understand, to learn, to program. Um, and everything is saved at all times right there. Um, so if your controller or anything like that was to ever go down, you have to come up with something else, get it programmed, you save a profile here, you can move it to the next computer and everything's good to go. So let's check out that quick. All right guys, so here's the look of the software for the ADJ My DMX 3.0. Uh, you will end up getting a box like this. Um, this is where you're gonna be hooking either your uh, three pin or five pin DMX into. Um, you've also got your power button or your power light here, uh, connection to your uh, computer via this USB light. And then we just use the USB um, right now for our setup. You will have a display with your DMX channel right up there on the top. You can make the adjustments right down here. Um, but the software itself here, took a, a little bit of getting used to, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, what you'll end up doing is um, on the side here, you will search the brand of your light and then the model of it once you get in there. And then it will give you the different options that it have, whether it's a three channel, six channel, you know, five, 12, whatever it may be. You will select the one that's gonna work best for you, um, you know, through the owner's manual, take a look at it to figure out what function is gonna do what and then pick which channel selection is going to be best. Um, you'll drag that over into here um, and that's going to give the uh, the channel numbers that are going to be occupied by that fixture itself. Um, so that's how you're going to do that here. You can get into your editing program on the side so you can start creating your different scenes. Um, so over here on our side we have you know our main kind of light show and LEDs. Um, this yellow function here is going to be you know our white lights, our strobe lights, um, you know different things like that. And then the far side right over here in the purple um, is for lighting of our truss. And we use the, um, the Chevet goalpost truss. Um, so we've got some uh, wedge 
tri lights in the bottom and those are controlled right over here then and each one of these sections you can set up um, so you can have one over here running uh, you could also have a scene from your white lighting or, or this scene over here running and then you can also in our case have a separate scene running for our uh, trust. That's how we have ours set up. We're fairly new into this, um, so we haven't really got into the whole entire uh, program here and there, all of its capabilities. Um, but then again, if you want to learn some more on this, there are some more uh, in-depth videos that you can find here on YouTube. The one thing that we have found that we do like is um, you have a flash mode, so you may be able to see that there's uh, a lightning bolt right here and that flash mode what that's going to do is it's just going to give you the um, ability to just tap it um, and it won't stay on or anything so as long as you hold it down that function or that scene will be operating um, so I like that because we can do a big strobe effect with you know everything and just do quick flashes with it and um, and that's it and then you have your live so we use this um, you know when we're when we're doing a show we have all these functions here and then down towards the bottom um, you have all the different lights so we have the wedge tries the intimidator scan 200s when we use our uh, 80j uv cob cannons um, we've got these here and you know you can run these live at the same time as your other scenes um, so again it's just uh, something we've added to our show this year we've used it um, you know a few times so far and it has definitely been uh, a good purchase so if you guys are just getting into DMXing or you want to try something a little bit easier uh, the software version is is definitely the way to go all right guys so I just want to say uh, thanks for watching uh, like I say it was a quick little video there are tutorials on uh, other tutorial videos on YouTube on you know the donor uh, wireless DMX as well as the uh, ADJ My DMX 3.0. Uh, if you want to get some more in depth detail on that, uh, like I say, we're just testing out the camera here. We thought we'd throw a little product video in there. Um, just explain that we are extremely happy with how this works and has really made a difference in the overall performance of each show that we do um, just with changing from uh, you know wired to wireless and then also a control board to um, all digital on a on a computer and uh, so if you guys have any comments questions anything like that go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below make sure you hit like here uh, we're trying to get our youtube channel up and going so um, be great to have that and we'll see you guys next time